I'm the Curator of Education at Zoo America. I am standing directly in front of our Peregrine Falcon exhibit, which is located in the Northland section of Zoo America, right next to the Gray Wolves. I'm also holding a Peregrine Falcon, and uh, this is Murray. He is a male, and he is an education bird. He travels with us as we visit schools, libraries, scout troops, but he will also do on-site educational programs here at the zoo. At one time, peregrine falcons were endangered species in our country. In fact, by the 1960s, there were no longer any nesting peregrine falcons east of the Mississippi River. A lot of research was done, a lot of studying was done, and a lot of convincing had to be done, and DDT was determined to be the cause of this problem. When it was sprayed on the ground, it covered the crops, it covered the insects. Smaller birds, not the peregrine yet, but smaller birds came along and ate the DDT-covered crops and insects. The pesticide then traveled into the bodies of the small birds, and it stays there. It doesn't disappear. Peregrine falcons then, they came along and they ate the uh, small birds that had eaten the DDT-covered items. In that way, the uh, pesticide traveled up the food chain and accumulated in the bodies of the peregrine falcon because they reside at the top of that food chain. It didn't usually kill these birds directly. Sometimes it did, but what it really did, it interfered with their egg production. Instead of having really hard eggs, their eggs were very brittle and thin-shelled. And when the parent birds went to sit on them and incubate them, as all birds do, they cracked. And cracked eggs will never hatch. So by the 1960s, no longer any peregrines nesting. So a couple things were done. We learned how to raise peregrine falcons in captivity and then release their young back out into the wild. It became illegal to use DDT anymore in our country in 1972. And the peregrine falcons were also given protection uh, through the Endangered Species Act because they were listed as endangered species. By the time 1999 rolled around, the peregrine falcon had recovered and it recovered so well that it was no longer uh, listed as an endangered species on the federal list. And that's a good thing. There are only two ways to get off that list. Number one, you become extinct, or number two, your numbers bounce back and recover. That's exactly what happened with peregrine falcons. Peregrine falcons are the fastest birds in the world. Now when they're flying horizontally, they might go 30 to 40 miles per hour, that's about average. But when they're hunting, they'll circle high in the air and then they'll dive down onto their prey, which is usually another flying bird. And they can approach speeds of 150 to 200 miles per hour, that's pretty fast. And they kill their prey pretty much just by impact alone, by punching it out of the air with their feet and uh, their long talons, which are their equipment for catching their food. Mm -hmm.